utterance is used first of all in uh, in this module the term up talk is new so first we define it what is an up talk so it is an utterance that is actually a response but it is in question tone and this is called up talk for example husband when will dinner be ready this is the question and wife says six o'clock no see this is up talk and up talk actually suggests many things here like they are not tags first of all this is not for confirmation uh, you should not confuse them with tags because they are also questions like this but their function is different they are responses to questions to invite more questions for example when she says six o'clock with rising tone it shows her surprise it shows a kind of uh, uh, you can say shock that i have already told you that six o'clock dinner will be ready then why are you asking question is there any change in our program are we having dinner somewhere else right there so women often use up talk are uh, rising finals rising finals to keep their talk open rising finals because here the tone is rising they, they are in habit of using them frequently why what is the purpose to keep their talk open you see it invites more questions so in this sense it is income they do it to be more sociable than men a person who wants more talk definitely that person is sociable a person who avoids talk that person is withdrawn he uh, uh, goes for uh, withdrawal from others company he is not sociable so he uh, uh, she does that for this purpose not because they are weak if they use up talk it is not that they are weak or this use of up talk makes their language weak and them the women themselves uh, are also weak it is not the case rather they want to be sociable and want to talk more about something those who use falling final tone see the difference up talk by women they are using rising final and men are using falling falling final so so those people who are using this they are mostly men and they use this to close the talk uh, you might have heard many times that's it it means it is said with falling final tone it means the thing is closed the talk is closed but use of up talks is not special with any gender it is not that only women use them and uh, uh, or uh, men use them uh, no for example at the cashier counter men use more up talk cashier your name please like so he is a man for example so he is using this up talk client how much client may be male client may be female right so how much so this is up talk old people and parents they they use more up talks the reason is that when uh, uh, when family members are very busy they don't uh, give time to each other women and uh, parents especially uh, the old parents to 
to keep you involved with themselves, especially in talk. They use more up talk. So this is another function. It has nothing to do with gender. Old parents, old persons, maybe male, maybe female. It is common with both. So we conclude up talks are used by young males and females, by old people of both sexes. So Lekif's views need rethinking because she directly associates things like tags and up talks with power, with gender. And these things challenge her views. They should be revisited, rethought. But still, Lekif, as I said in the beginning, her views are relevant. As up talks are linked with powerlessness, where in media, media people, they don't like up talk. So this is one sphere, one domain where it is thought that it is indicator of one's powerlessness, and that is media. So that's why those people who are in habit of using up talks within their own group, social group or community of practice, so when they uh, go for public, for media, etc., they avoid it. <laughs>